Spring football workouts are not just for players and coaches, but for student equipment managers too. We went behind the scenes of what life is like of a student equipment manager for herd football, especially during the spring practice season. We talked with senior herd equipment manager, Megan Campbell, about how her journey began as a herd football equipment manager. Well, I started my second semester of my freshman year, and it was someone from back home, I'm from Pittsburgh, and they knew a former equipment manager and they just talked to me about the job and came out one day to see if I was interested. And then that's basically how I decided my major and that I wanted to work in sports. Through the eyes of a freshman equipment manager, Casey Queen, he talks about his involvement with herd equipment and what it's like to be a part of team bonding. We do the players laundry after practice. Uh, we put out the equipment they need for practice. We make sure their helmets and shoulder pads and cleats are all in good shape. I'd say it's a team bond. While being given a tour of the football locker room, we were able to see behind the scenes. We saw an old in the uniforms, varsity jackets, helmets, washing machine equipment, cleats, and college football banners. It kind of makes you appreciate people more and like people don't realize how much you actually do do and what goes on behind the scenes. People don't realize that, but you now you experience it and you realize how much effort people actually put into the job. In a 2017 article by the Spun.com, Marshall's equipment team is featured. The article talks about how the team put together graphics to show some of the new uniform combinations that were revealed during the 2017-2018 season. There were major changes such as adding black pants with a green M on the uniforms and some minor changes to the white additions. Megan and Casey both discuss how time consuming this job can be during the fall and especially during the spring season. During the football season, it's probably like 40 or 50. In the off season, we're only here three days a week, like two, three hours a day. Fall seasons, whenever football season's around, and we're here like anywhere from like 1.30 to like 9.30 at night. It takes a while. In spring season, it's maybe a couple hours at most. Herd equipment brings people together. When people are brought together, they make memories. Megan and Casey talk about their favorite and most memorable memories that they have had with other equipment managers. Most of the people you meet, they're all fun. Game days is really exciting. There's not one exactly. It's just, I just love it down here. People seem to think that equipment managing is only a man's job, but girls can easily pursue a passion in this too. Megan further explains what it is like being a woman working in a man's world. It's not bad. They're all really respectful and nice to me, so I've never had any problems. Being an equipment manager is a lot of fun and a lot of work. However, anyone can become part of herd equipment team. It doesn't matter what your career choice is, as long as you are passionate about herd football, hardworking, and want to become part of a big family, then this job is for you at the Jones C. Edwards Stadium. Just go for it. Follow what you want to do. Follow your dreams. I mean, you might get looked at different because you're a girl, but if you try hard, you'll be good at it. It's a lot of it's a lot of work. It's a bit time consuming, but it's fun and it's worth it.